Oh, uh, hi everyone, I'm Barrow Barrow, and there's been a bit of a delay because two teams failed to show up for this race, but the officials are saying that they found a replacement. Apparently one of the spectators is actually a retired racer, so we should be able to proceed. Steve! The competitors for the West Globe qualifiers are the Rain Trackers, Soda Pop Rockers, Vermillionaires, Lavendale Dashers, Hot Summer Days, Frostliners, Blades of Glass, Passion Flies, Rose Masquerade, All for Dot, Great Grotto Gragalags, Winterwood Willows, Team 24, Basil Blasters, and Steve. And they're off! It will be the top four competitors once again who will qualify for the Marble Circuit Tour here. Brain Checkers started on pole position and hold that place for now. Lavendale Dashers in third. They are the home team, so they're a heavy favorite to win here. Vermillionaires in second. Most well known for being very rich and spending a lot of money to participate in these qualifiers. Hot Summer Days back in fourth as we enter the Ghost section. Here the marbles are able to pass through each other, being slightly more transparent. The only thing that matters there is speed, not padding. The Millionaires take the lead for now. Lap 2 of 11, the same as we saw in the first qualifiers over back at Clear Sea. Hot Summer Days into second. Lavendale Dashers falling back to fourth. Frostliners trying to make a push there in fifth in the hot seat. Contact between the top two, very close together. This top few marbles are. As we enter the ghost zone once again, Frostliners, bit of speed there, allowing them to slot up into third place now. They take the far left line into the finish line, and will that pay off for them? It does. They rocket off into first place, very far ahead of the other competitors. Blades of Glass up into the hot seat now. Great Brattle Gragalags fighting with the Lavendale Dashes back there, but the Frostliners lead is only growing. Will anybody be able to catch up? Are they using too much energy? It's only lap three. You've got a lot of racing left to do. Only two marbles on your screen right now. Blades of Glass slot up into fourth place off the, on the left side of your screen. Frostliners finishing the lap. A few seconds ahead of the rest of the field. Lavendale Dashers holding forth. Will they pass? No, they have a bad bump there against the Rain Trackers and fall back a few spots. All for Dot there into the mix now. For Millionaires falling all the way back there as well. Rain Trackers up into second place, trying to catch up to the Frostliners, but will it happen? Ooh, it looks like it will, and they do make the pass, taking different lines into the ghost section. What will happen here? Will Hot Summer Days be able to catch up to the Frostliners? Ooh, a valiant effort, but no, they accidentally launch up the Frostliners into the lead. Passing by the Rain Trackers. I'm not sure if that was intended. Well, definitely wasn't intended, but I don't suppose that the Rain Trackers are very happy about that. Blades of Glass up into third, trying to make a pass. All for Dot. They're in fourth. Two gray teams in the top four. Frostliners still holding a healthy lead, but it's closing up. But they do make the block into the ghost zone here. No, not a lot of speed differential, but there are the Lavender Dashes clawing their way back up into the hot seat. Hot Summer Days, 6th, Blades of Glass, having a bit of a slow turn, but getting their speed back from All for Dot, who fall back. Frostliners still fighting with the Rain Trackers, it looks like it's going to be between those for the next significant portion of the race. Entering the final sector, Sector 3 of 3, on this course here. Blades of Glass, who will they pass? They do make it past the Rain Trackers to take 2nd, trying to secure as many spaces between them and 4th so that they have the highest chance of qualifying here. Ooh, another bad turn around the corner for Blades of Glass, but another time the collision with All for Dot gives them back that speed. Ooh, big gaggle of marbles there. It's Team 24, who is up into fifth now. Ooh, and a bump from Hot Summer Days pushes them up into fourth past All for Dot. Not a lot of movement in the top two, but Blades of Glass trying to make a pass, and they do get it done. Just barely squeaking by the Rain Trackers, and going off to the left, will they be able to pass the Frostliners here? Went through the first corner, they do. And there's Team 24 trying to make a pass by Rain Trackers, but blocked by the Frostliners inadvertently. Heads of Glass still holding the lead for now ahead of the former leaders. Ooh, and the Frostliners lose another spot back to the Rain Trackers. Are they fading and losing energy? Or are they saving a little bit more for a last push? Ooh, they're faster here than the Rain Trackers, and they do slot up into second. Meanwhile, Team 24 very fast, catching up to the top three. Hot Summer Days. They're in 5th, and ooh, a bump from Team 24 into the Rain Trackers creates a chain reaction that launches the Frostliners back into the lead. Blades of Glass still holding a healthy 2nd. Lavendale Dashers, they've been struggling around the relegation zone. Ooh, and they make a double pass there, passing by both the Rain Trackers and Team 24 to take 3rd. Back into the Ghost section. Ooh, a lot of speed from Team 24, but that doesn't give them any more positions. Just getting them closer to the top there. Hot Summer Days. Right up there with them, but ooh, bat around the corner. 
Team 24 passes the Frostliners into the lead. Soda Pop Rockers now up into fifth. They've been relatively quiet throughout this race, but are now challenging for a qualification spot. Team 24 still holding the lead, but we've seen the Frostliners take back that spot several times throughout this race. Who blocked? Team 24 are able to hold on to the lead, but the Blades of Glass challenge, and they also get blocked. They are holding on to second for now, but what will happen around the last turn? Frostliners do pop ahead of them across the line, but I'm not sure they're going to hold it. I think around the first corner, the Blades of Glass will have them. They do. Meanwhile, the Soda Pop Rockers have passed the Lavender Dashers into the qualification zone, those top four. Team 24, laying down a block on Blades of Glass, allowing them to get passed by the Frostliners. They're losing a lot of speed. And when Lavendale Dashers also pass by the Blades of Glass, will they hold on to a qualification spot? They won't. The Soda Pop Rockers are able to pass them into second place and pass into first place and will take the victory. Vessel Blasters, meanwhile, get past the Blades of Glass. They will not qualify. They were holding second, but in just one lap, lost all those positions and will not place in the top four. Lavendale Dashers, Frostliners, Team 24, and of course, the winners, Soda Pop Rockers, will be the ones who advance. But not all hope is lost for the Blades of Glass. You see, the fourth qualifiers will contain the fifth through eighth finishers of the three qualifiers run so far, Clear Sea, Nubezia, and here in West Gloam, along with four new teams who we have not seen before. So I hope you'll join us to see which four teams will grab a spot in the Marble Circuit Tour in the Wild Card Qualifiers.